Hello, I'm Fluxionate, and I am back with Bastion. We're in some sort of pretty world. And uh, I had too much of um, Zia's cooking, and she's made me kind of pass out. Oh god. This doesn't look good. I love this music. What's he thinking? Uh, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tazzle Terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Ceylonia. Folks were orphaned in the war, taken in and raised inside the city, on condition they would never return to the terminals. Well, she sounds like she's lived a hard life as well as me. Ura refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. Oh, for God's sake, really? Mama passed away from burthen complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. I wonder how her father was. Probably not that good, according to how things are going. I can only guess that. father was sharper than a brusher's pike, so he got a job working for the city's mansas. His daughter barely saw him. Well, I hate that creature. Father told her nothing of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the Mansers. It's for your own good, he said. For me, was for her own good. That's the thing. She took to studying the arts, learned more through music than history books. Gain a knack for strings and songs. No wonder why she's so good. At first, she tried to be like other girls, but her classmates spread word that her father was an Ura traitor, selling out the city. Well. Now, a class of pupils spreading rumors can be quite bad. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him. Oh, 
for God's sake, really. to take him to a family den to meet a father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. That didn't sound good. When the young man greeted her father in the Ura's native language, her father flew into a fit of rage. And threw them out. That's not good. Oh, for God's sake, you had to come to me. is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. What? But why would he do such a thing then? It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tazzle terminals. inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag, then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. Wow, that's disgusting. Oh my god, seriously? were already there when that scumbag sidled up to the city walls. The young man had sent the authorities a tip, told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazzle terminals. She and her father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. So
She did as she was told, and deep down underground inside that den, she found a journal written in her father's hand. Well, I have to fight myself, really. I have to fight two of me? I have to fight three? What? The next day, the door to the den turned to ash. The girl came up for air, and she saw the calamity all around her. Wow. That explains a bit about her. Jeez, she's been quite... When a kid wakes long. up, his world's still in pieces, just the way he left it. Yeah, so I so I had um this stock pot that put me unconscious. Let's go out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Jeez, that back. The marshals kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. The faith, mother. This one's for you. I don't want any bonuses. They kind of like put me off quite a bit. Oh wow. There's a lot more in here. Hmm. Do you like this weapon? Greater knockback, 15% damage. Uh, now damage. we're looking at some serious firepower. Hmm. Something nice. What should I get? That'll do. Well, back with Bastion guys, and we're gonna do, uh, gonna try doing some things. Um, finally gonna head to Colford Cauldron for another shard. Uh, we need to collect the shards to fix what, um, thingy's name did. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. Oh, the cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rot. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors, too. Oh, okay. I thought I was on the path there. Okay. 
it takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. Whoa. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Well, it does have a... Uh... Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. <laughs> I got that high. You can't fault our people for their natural curiosity now, can you? Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. Other things were better off not knowing. The taste of air is so hot it sticks to your lungs. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. The more ash we swept the side, the more life we found. Which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Places inhospitable as they come. On. After all, when we look down inside Colford Cauldron, look down through all the smoke and flames, we saw in there the heart of the world, the heart now laid bare by the calamity. I bet you when I grab this, all those green things are just them passing the camera off. And the heart of the world is all down there. The beautiful, well drawn, or hand drawn background. It's amazing. It's a great game. We had to have it. Cheers. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Skybridge, come on. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Well, it ain't polite to stare. One stink eye, there's always more. There's always lots of these stink eye things. Ah, probably because it's too hot. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed any tears for him, though. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. Let's leave this hot place and get back. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. Hmm. It 
comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. I just came from a chimney. What do you expect? Let's put the shard on. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> uh, I think today we're gonna put. Do you wanna put it on the foundation or? I don't know. Get this on the foundation. It's just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Oh, falling malt. 200 plus percent damage by falling on foes. Wow. Black Lui. Plus two tonic capacity. Uh, life wine survive an attack that would have brought defeat. Wow. Um, I could do that instead of that because I don't tend to use them. So. Life wine so rich they say it's brought men back from the brink for one last taste. This place is coming along really nicely. Change my weapon. Change it back to the original war uh, machete and scrap my scope. With ghost blade. Oh well. Thanks for watching, and we're gonna carry on with this season. Well, not season this uh, series. Get it over with. Get on to a new one because I think some of you guys are a bit tired of this. But I want to finish this for another reason. One, because some people want to see what happens. Two, because I want to finish this uh, this series off. And three, because I feel incomplete unless I do it. So, see you next time, have a good day, goodbye.